So listen, let's do our love, okay? Let's do, um, oh, sorry, Max, I didn't know, I didn't know you were under there. Um, thank you, what did I do? I did, I did sports, still uploading, guys. Um, I, I started off with Earth, so we're back to Earth, right? I did Earth, Sag, Air, yeah, I did Libra, yeah, so Earth. Okay, um, let's do, let's do Virgos, let's do Virgos, since the sun is in Virgo, the moon, I'm losing it, I'm losing it guys, at least I know when the, the, the full moon comes around, at least I know it's Aries, oh, my goodness gracious, I'm telling you. I wanna love ya. Love you like. Alright. Oh my goodness gracious, my little Virgos. My Virgos, my Virgos, my Virgos. Sipping on my love. Over my head. Virgo, Venus. Okay. Virgo Venus. <laughs> Clearly decide what it is you want. Let your friends help you. There's distance between you and somebody. Here's the deal with this let your friends help you. I, I wanted for a split second to look at this in a good way. But you we're still trying to decide we're still having we're still having something okay um what is this we have passion we have a codependency okay um retreat okay i don't know what those are all right so we have very soon and let your friends help you okay Honeymoon and religious factors. To me, this is distance between the two of you. Okay, something's going on. Someone's not okay with somebody's religion, and it, this is this doesn't even have a culture. This isn't even a culture thing to me. This is this is straight up religion. Um, we have passion. We have codependency. We have retreat. Okay, um, and then these flew out. We have soulmate, and we have forgiving and learning. Somebody definitely wants forgiveness. Um, love yourself first. So right off the bat, my Virgos, whoever has a Venus in Virgos is going to be tough. Um, it's a tough one. You need to get yourself out of whatever energy this is. You, you need to make a decision. There's no time for indecision here, okay? Um, say you want to go towards something, but this person wants nothing to do with you. Just say it's something like that, okay? Regardless of the scenario, I feel like somebody's staying in a scenario out of comfort. <laughs> you guys, it's like you almost, some of you guys, I, I'm telling you, live together right now. Okay? And you, there's just distance between you. But there's going to be this spark of passion. Okay? I don't think it can come back, though, until you guys take a break for those that are together. I'm not going to lie. For others, somebody needs to forgive somebody. This should be a lesson in self-love, but it's not. <laughs> it should be. Oh, oh, man. I, I, oh, if you have Venus is in Virgo, it's, it's going to be tough. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm sorry. I feel like I should redo the video. <laughs> I'm 
four, four, four. That also talks about going at intuition. The divine's with you. Okay, don't panic. Okay, so I'm gonna clarify a couple of these because I am. I need to tell you what is going on. Um, someone's someone's watching. I, I definitely feel like that may be secrets right there, or that might straight up be. They're telling you to use intuition. Tell me about let your friends help you. I don't normally like clarifying these, but this is a tough one, my little Virgo. You you want somebody to forgive you. Okay, you have strength reverse, yeah. See, with the Knight of Cups, you want to go apologize to somebody. Um, you need to decide. what. You, you don't have the strength right now because you, you're listening to other people. You're listening to other people tell you what direction to go in. Or, or you're not talking to no one, okay? And they're saying, let your friends help you. Because you have feelings for somebody. You're not with them. That's tricky. That can go either way with this let your friends help you. But... Ultimately, I'm not going to dig because this is your decision. You need to make this decision and nobody else. You are not with this person. I, this is straight up religion. This is not culture here. You are very passionate about somebody, but you have a strong codependency to something or someone. You need to go into hermit mode. You need to soul search. You need to self-reflect. You need to find self-love. The person you're thinking about, are they a soulmate? Yeah. You definitely want forgiveness. Or this is vice versa. You've been fighting this. I'm going to do your new moon energy, guys. Um, you clearly have a decision to make. If your friends know nothing about this decision or nothing about whatever this is, okay, this is the best advice I can give you. If they know nothing, talk to them or someone. If you are talking to people about this, it's, it's not helping. You do have passion for this person. I don't know where your codependency lies. It, to me, I don't need to clarify that. You guys know your codependency. Okay. Um, you need to soul search. I know you know who this person is. And you want forgiveness. But you don't even have enough love for yourself. So this is really tricky, okay? Um, please take care of yourself. Find, find love in yourself. Like, this Venus is for you, okay? Like, I don't think you can go to this person. I, I, I honestly think that they would even possibly shut it down. And I guess you're just going to have to stay tuned with raw love and daily energies and because they want you to retreat. They want you to go into hermit mode. You need to find self-love, self-respect, self-care for you, but for my Virgos that are in Venus. Okay. So let's find out about this new moon, new moon energy. My Virgos, all right, eight of pence. It, it's working working hard on something, okay, with the chariot, working hard, moving forward, putting some pep in your step, this is great, okay, this is, this is sensational at this point, um, but this chariot, in order for it to get going, I mean, it's looking right at you, like, you have to put this effort in, like, I was just stressing your decision, you 
have to step forward and clear this up. Maybe you have to forgive yourself when it comes to something. I'm not quite sure, but you have the sun here, okay? So to me right now, I'm taking this as healing, okay? Um, tell me about this sun. Three of Wands reversed. Page of Swords reversed. Somebody, somebody's watching somebody. Somebody's lying to. Um, I don't know if there was a third party. I can't relate this to this up here though, okay? Um, Cause it's different energy. What is this? There's no sunshine when she's gone. Wait, what is this? What is this one? Ain't no sunshine. The writers, writers, right? Yeah. Somebody's not in the picture. It's like you're, 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 you lost your vitality, but you can get it back. That's why I said to me, this is healing. But you have to make the effort to heal, okay? I, it looks like with your Venus, you, you want to make this offer to somebody. You want this someone to forgive you, okay? But for... For this new moon energy, it's saying work on you in order to move forward and find your vitality again. You're happy in order for you to heal. You need to participate. You need to partake in that. Nobody can step in and help with this scenario. This is on you. It's like you're self-sabotaging the situation you're in right now. I don't know what you're in, but you're self-sabotaging it. Your hope is gone. What else for the new moon? Two of pens with justice, all right? It, you're juggling. I don't, you're juggling thoughts, juggling. You're juggling. Juggling money, juggling thoughts, juggling people, juggling homes, ju juggling, okay? Um, I don't even feel like you're dealing with the Libra with this justice. This is... Your sword's up, okay? Nothing's being balanced here. This is, I, I, I want to say karmic. Um, tell me about justice. This is your opportunity to, to soul search for you. The five of wands reverse. This is something that needs to be justified, whether this is a situation ship or this is you, okay? To me, this is this you as a Virgo with this new moon energy and Venus, okay? Because I know you can be a different Venus and, and have nothing to do with this, okay? But it's kind of correlating. But I'm telling you, in order for you to come out of this, this conflict that you're in, you have to self-care. You have to come first before you even seek forgiveness. It's almost like you have to forgive yourself. This, this new moon energy is giving you that boost to, to come out of self-conflict with whatever this is, okay, um, in order for you to grow, okay? It's the six of wands, and it was reversed, so again, it's you not feeling hope. So your new moon energy for my Virgos is to literally put pep in your step and get your vitality back, okay? And here comes, here comes the Knight of Cups, so it's coming in this way, and it's freaking coming in this way. They're, they're coming right at each other. You definitely want to go to somebody. There is no question here that you want to go to somebody um, and resolve conflicts and try to balance out the scales, but you're not grounded yourself. So what this is literally telling me for this new moon energy, once again, is put effort into okay. you. Kaden John! Kaden! Kade! Sorry, Kai. Keep it down a little bit, Papa. Um, I need... Can you keep it down a little bit, bud? Thank you. Um, that was weird. I don't normally call him Papa. Sometimes, but not, not, not often. You need to put pep in your own step. In order to move forward, you got to put the effort in to find your vitality again.
seek your own clarity. Go outside, ground yourself. This is an opportunity for self-love. And then here comes this new opportunity. But until you put effort into yourself, I think this new opportunity is going to stay at bay. Tell me about this Knight of Cups. Because you're not feeling victorious, all right? So it's like you're feeling trapped. To me, this is this is just Virgo energy. Feeling trapped. And this is mental, guys, okay? Um... I'm trying not to correlate these, but they're correlating, so I'm sorry. I mean, it is it is Virgo, okay? So if you're just a Virgo sun, I mean, if you're just a, a Virgo Venus, and you're sticking out to, to finish the V to watch it, it's probably a good idea, okay? Because my Virgos want to offer love to somebody, but they're feeling trapped. They don't know how to do it, but you're feeling trapped because I told you the universe is going to hold you up and they're going to hold you up because you need to learn how to make your own decisions or get help the way you should seek help. Um, I don't know what kind of addiction or codependency this is. It has nothing to do with money. So, but you would know what that is. You got your thoughts are with somebody, but you, you feel hopeless. But I'm telling you with this new moon energy, the only way to get out of this feeling is for you to put pep in your step and, and allow healing, okay? Allow yourself to heal. Find who you are. Find you're happy again, Okay. Five of Chalices with the Ace of Pence. So to me, this is basically saying, like, I mean, the Ace of Wands. You're sad, okay? You're clinging on to the past in both of these scenarios. You got to let go of the past in order to have a new start. And, but you want this new start, but you're clinging on to the past. You see what I'm saying? Like, look at the five. Five of Chalices, you're sad. It's like you have something in front of you for those who are with somebody, like I said, but thinking about the past, which is messed up, I know. But that's the scenario, okay? Um, but the thing is, we're, we're clinging on to the past. We're drowning in our own feelings right now. But you want this new stat. But look at the people in the background. Again, clinging on to the past. So how are you going to have this new stat? Because they just blocked me from even shuffling. They're going to block you from this new stat until you can let go of the past. And I, I know you're trying because you want forgiveness. But I think you think if you get it, go in and get forgiveness, it's going to fix things. And it won't because there's no self-love. There's no self-care. So I hope you know where I'm going with this. You know what I'm saying? It's a tough one. It's a tough read. Runaway train. You know, trying to conquer something. like, Or just trying to run from a situation. That's what I'm saying. Like, this is not going to be an easy fix, guys. I'm sorry. It's just not. It's time to work on you. Find your damn happy. Find your vitality. Find what motivates you. I right, love energy, please. For my Virgos. All right, we got the world. Okay, and it's reversed. So it's like something coming back around because you, you don't want it to end. Okay, but then you have the night, the night of swords reverse. All right, so this is somebody. Caden John. Sorry. This is somebody who, there's still somebody on the outside. There's still somebody, you got love though, okay? Somebody's with somebody, but you're not talking to this person. But somebody's with somebody, or somebody's watching something, okay? And it's like you're just waiting for this opportunity for it to come back around because the love is still there. But I'm telling you, it's going to get blocked until you, you, you figure something out. You are trying to figure out how to get in there. But I'm telling you, you're going to have universal holdups, universal hope, okay? 
that the nine of wands reversed. So this is trying real hard to figure out how do you step in after you you effed up. Because <laughs> if, if it was upright, this card means this card is is being intimate again with somebody, but trying not to think about the past type thing because there was some tricky shit. Okay, with it being reversed, this is. You know, this is you trying to wiggle your way into something or, or just thinking you can get forgiveness and it's, it's all good. It's not going to work that way because it's right under the five of wands wanting to come out of this complex. So you're, you're juggling your thoughts. This is what this is. Trying to, how do I get in? How do I do this? How, you know what I'm saying? The Knight of Pens, see, if you go in if you go in too soon, all right, you've been thinking about this for a long time, but if you go in too soon, that, that fruit's not ready. That's like forbidden fruit. You take that fruit, you're going to repeat this cycle. The Magician, that's some tricky shit right there, all right, but this talks about being... <laughs> Being more than capable of, of pushing forward. Tell me about this magician. Sharpening those swords, though. All right? And here's the wheel. But let me tell you something. You want to... I just got done saying you can repeat this wheel. Can you please count? Look at how many women are in this wheel. Okay? So, there's three. There's three. There's somebody else in the picture. But I don't think that's going to stop you. But I think the universe will stop you. It's, it's not ready. It, that's what I said. Like, if you take this fruit too early, you're going to repeat the wheel. All right? This is some tricky shit with the magician. There's still some tricky shit going on. This wheel, here it comes. And, and guess how many people are in this damn wheel? Okay? It's a tough read, guys. Here's the Ace of Swords. The truth needs to come out, okay? Um, and I think it's going to. Look at that. Look at the lovers. There's three of them. I know you got love for this person, but um, tell me about this Ace of Swords. I think this is a want. This is you know, this is not a need. This is, you know, the, the strength again reversed, all right? But with it upright, it's like you're fighting the devil, okay? Like, you, you don't have the strength yet to approach this. There's still, there's still something. There's still somebody else in the picture. It's just not time. It's just not It's just not time, guys. I'm sorry. This was a rough read. It was just two, 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 two. Please go Google that. I wish I had better news for you guys. You feel lonely right now. and I get it, okay? Have patience on yourself. This is your opportunity to work on you. You push through this the right way. Within four to six weeks, you're going to feel like a brand new person. I'm not kidding you. Okay? I think if you're cross-watching for a Virgo and this Virgo comes in, I'd be real careful about, you know, they got too much pride right now, too, and not wanting to control certain situations. I'm telling you right now, like I said, if you're a cross-watcher and this person's coming at you, I'd be real careful on what approach you take. And be real careful you're not part of a third party scenario either right here. Okay, like this is this is rough. They got a whole lot to say. You know. Patience, I accept everything happens in divine order. This is there's somebody else in the picture. It's it's just not time. It will be, but not now. Right now is love. Okay, but this is self-love like I was talking about. This is not, this is I commit to seeing the practice and, and seeing good in all things, not just some things, not just X, Y, Z, not just what you set your mind to. You need to see love in a lot of aspects of your life and you're not because you don't even love yourself fully yet. Okay, this is a big lesson. Um, and then you have imagination. I embrace and nourish my creative aspects of my mind, okay? And, and yeah, this is the part of that time where you're, you're conjuring up all these things, but 
you need to conjure up what's best for you. How, how you move forward. And, and that's self-care, self-love. And, and, and you come first, okay? Um, this is, and here we go with the lonely again. Okay, this is, I, I get it. I get it. I truly do. Um, this is, this is tough. Okay, but it's not time. So, for those waiting on a Virgo, it's not time. Is it divine? Yep, but it's not time. Okay, and if you're a Virgo, it is time for you to put yourself first. And until you do that, things in your life are going to be altered. Okay? It's a rough read, guys. I'm sorry. Best advice for my Virgo. Oh, that talks about a lot of broken promises, and the thing that popped out was to see. Um, sorry about that. See, okay, it's just, it's just not time. So I'm not saying you gotta let go completely, but you, you, you best know what you're doing if you're gonna hold on, okay? Because you need to come first. There's still somebody else in the picture. So if you got, you got, if this is you coming at you, with you, you want to go to somebody and you're, you want to charm this person, I'm, I'm telling you there's still somebody else in the picture. In the house of the night, there was one who betrayed herself and those who looked up to her. I am also warning you that somebody is maybe stabbing you in the back right now. Regardless of the circumstances of your question, I warn you about deceit. There is a price to pay a betrayal in all forms, only, only you will know the cost. With that being said, although the energy of betrayal can be seductive, I am stronger, and therefore, you are forewarned. I just got the chills, so there's that. Why does this keep doing this? Sorry, I must have pressure on my thing. Um, this is, this is tough, guys. Right. It's tough when I get these kind of reads, okay? But everything in divine timing, it... She answers are, is this a meant to be a scenario? Yeah. But until you learn how to love and commit to seeing love in, in all things and not just one thing, okay? You're going to be hung up, all right? I, I know you're lonely, but you need to find you're happy again. Like, you, you have to. You, I understand there's love here, but there's also some tricky stuff, and there's also another person in the picture, Okay? You need to get yourself out of this situation. Because remember when I was talking about this Venus, I think even in the beginning I was like, if you're with somebody, I, I don't think figuring this can even, even take place until there's been a break. That's what I'm saying. Like, Okay. Um, in order for you to push through this energy and this shift, and I, I'm telling you, if you make this shift and you try, Within four to six, six weeks, I promise you, you can be a brand new person. I, I, I really do. It just has to be done and approached the right way. You have to come first, all right? You need to put effort into yourself in order to move forward and and have that healing and, and to get your happy and your vitality back in order for you to push forward. You know, it's like I, for some of you are not even grounded and you're still feeling trapped, okay? I know you got love for somebody or vice versa. I know. I, I know. I see it. It's heavy, okay? Um, like I said, you, you make this decision or you're going to repeat that wheel. If, if you're talking to friends, they're not helping you. If you're not talking to nobody, that's not helping you. Okay. Maybe find a friend you can talk to. There's something going on. This is not culture. This is straight up religion. The two of you, there's distance, whether you're together or not. This, yeah, is there a passion? Yeah, but there's, there's a codependency here, clear as day. I'm not even going to call it as... I don't know what kind of addiction this is. Uh, under passion, I, I would hope it's not a sexual addiction, but let's see real quick. But this is saying retreat. This is saying going into hermit mode. Yeah, it's your soulmate, but you know what? Go into damn hermit mode. You, go, you need to soul search. You need to forgive yourself before you can ask somebody else to forgive you. Tell me about this codependency, please. Codependency. I want this one. I don't know what it is. It's the Knight of Swords. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. To me, that looks like, I mean, there's still people watching. 
is this a sexual addiction? I, I don't, I don't know. Let me get one more. This funny fellow. Let me get one more to clarify that. But to, to me, that's that. That's playing, and that's other people being okay with okay with playing too. Okay, there's multiple people. This the Knight of Swords. All right. This is. Yeah, you might like this type of pleasure, but um, it's back to the Eight of Pens. This is somebody making promises again to you. I don't know what you're gonna do. Okay. Or vice versa. All right. And the nine of pence reverse. Not having not having the confidence to, to get yourself out of the situation. And this is straight up F and lust. Look at this person's cutting hair. All right. But it's reverse. So there's no confidence and there's lust. Okay. There's broken promises. And could it be a money thing? Yeah. But not when I'm, I'm clarifying with these cards. To me, that looks like a straight up sexual addiction, whether it's, it's porn, whether it's I don't know what to tell you here. It's a tough that's a tough one. Unless somebody's straight up addicted to to uh, an air sign, but I, I, I don't see it like that. You didn't even have air come out in your reading like that. So it's not like that for me. Is that magician? I didn't want to grab it, but there's that that five of um five of pence reversed. It could be pills. It could be money. To me, this is this is lust. This is like pinning someone up against the wall and like it's lust. I, I think it's a, some type of sexual addiction. I don't think it's to the point where it's extreme, guys. Okay, don't don't get your panties in a bunch. I but I think. Maybe porn, okay, it's because it's watching. Other people are watching, okay, so could be just porn, okay. Um, Sim card came out. Just going to check one more time for you guys because it's, it's a tough read. There's that strength battling the strength, okay, and... You know the world. It's, it's time to it's time to wrap it up. Um, you got the six of wands with the seven of wands, but this isn't like this. This is these are lustful cards. It's definitely a time with the world here to wrap it up. Um, but this is lust. This is thoughts. This is images. Okay, so I think somebody for some have a pornography addiction for some. Okay, and for others you can just you know x that pad out of the reading. Okay. I wish you the very, very best. Um, please take care of you. Or you're obsessed with somebody or it's an, it's an obsession and you're watching somebody stalking. Okay. I don't see danger behind it, but I see the addiction. Okay. I love you guys. Bye. Hang in there. Take care of you. You come first.